Uncle Joe's Spelling Show for January the 8th or the 9th? The 10th. 10th. It is our 100th show. We made it. Looks like we made it. Hundred uh, is H U N D R E D. Uh, the spelling of the word hundred, H U N D R E D, is the conventional spelling of hundred. Do you like that spelling? <laughs> One hundred shows, people. Uh, How would you spell it different? You know, when you just said it, hundred, all I heard was dread. That's a terrible way to hundred. signify a number. Well, well you, but you're thinking of dread, and partly because it looks like dread in the spelling, and dread, but if you spell it D-R-I-D, like it almost sounds hundred. Hundred. Oh, hundred. yeah. This I has, would have to agree with that. This has been the Uncle Joe's Come on, we made it. This is one hundred. You know, it takes most people, <laughs> it takes most shows five years to hit their hundred show. We did it in ten months. And we have our, our T-shirts. This is the official Uncle Joe Spelling Show t-shirt, ladies and gentlemen. We are giving away one million to our first one million signed. Signed. You got your hand ready? Yes. One million signed Uncle Joe Spelling Show shirts. We promised you a rock star show and we're going to give it to you. We have to start by giving a shout out to the creator of this beautiful artwork, Uncle Joe's very own firstborn son, Jamimo. Jamimo. There he is. Say hello, Jamimo. Oh, there he is. Wait. Uh, yeah. Very happy to be here. Very happy to be here. And, and Jamimo, uh, fortunately, is not the two-time atomic bomb survivor. What's that man's name? Sotumi. Uh, Sotumi. Uh, Yamaguchi is the only... He died the other day. He was 100 and... He was, not, he was, he was 93 years old. He was the only guy in Japan, person in Japan that we know of, that survived, what was the first blast? Hiroshima. Hiroshima. So he survived the blast, the atomic, we dropped He was there. He was there. He was in the city. Uh, uh, we dropped an atomic bomb on the city of Hiroshima, Hiroshima in Japan, uh, trying to stop the war, trying to win the war, stop the war. He survived that. He said, I need to get out of here. Let me go to Nagasaki. So little did he know. Little did, two days later, one day later, two days later, and we get, gave plenty of warning, but they still didn't think we had more than one. Well, he may not have not heard it. <laughs> well, but Listen, it, if you're coming back from the first atomic bomb drop, you're not reading the paper. You're just trying to get home. You're dazed and confused. He got there, and bam! Number two. He's the only person that... Well, He's the only recorded person <laughs> in Japan. Oh. The government recorded him as the only person left alive, and now he's gone. And now he's gone. <laughs> and his name is Sosumi. Sosumi. Which means, I really hope he sued somebody. That's my little attorney input right there. Uh, Happy New Year. Have, have, Happy New Year. Have we done a show since the beginning of the... We have, but he, he, he doesn't remember. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right, because I have my new co-host, Jamimo. <laughs> Who's an artist? Yeah. Jamimo. The offspring. Uh, We're going to talk about a few things. Yeah, we're going to talk about... You better cut it, go go quick, because our show's about over. Our show is not over. This is the 100th episode. We can go for like seven minutes. And listen, my sunny boy, Jamimo, will shut it down with a wink of an eye. Or if you do that, <laughs> you wouldn't do that. Jamimo said he would, he would not do that. How was, your, how was your weekend? We have to give a shout out to a couple birthdays. Big birthday. Elvis, first of all. Elvis H Presley. Hassan. Wait, wait. Elvis turned 75 on Friday. Hassan. We have to give a shout out to Hassan. Hassan Swift. Our faithful fan who doesn't know about the show. Any, anyone else? Hassan, Hassan turned 37. Anyone else? Well, Dr. King's birthday is next Friday. Keon's birthday is also next Friday. Um, and um, <laughs> so happy birthday, Elvis. Some people say he's still alive. Hassan is definitely still alive. At least he was last night. Um, can we talk about going out and drinking too much? Is that okay? Wait, 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 no, wait, no. You went out and, nice, and, nice and, and there were chicks after you, there were chicks galore, there were drunk chicks, there were... 
other chicks, and they were trying to dance with you, and it was, you felt like it was the, your freshman year at Rutgers. Here's the problem. I should be flattered that two girls were out with us last night that found me somewhat, even a little tiny bit, remotely attractive. And I am. The problem Remote, is... Remotely? No, no, I'm full-fledged. Anyway, if you drink too much... <laughs> I think you drank too much this morning. I did. I did. But if you drink too much, and then you're... You know, no one should drink too much. But if you can't hold your liquor... You definitely shouldn't drink too much, right? I don't think anybody should drink too much. You could argue about a glass of wine. And, and if you're going to drink too much, don't go showing off that you drank too much. So sit in the corner. Really unattractive. And you know what will happen now. No one will ever hit on me again. That's it. That was my, like the bearded lady, she got like three marriage proposals at the circus, and then no one ever proposed to her again because she turned them down. So I'll be single forever, but I don't care because I did 100 shows. This has been the Uncle Joe Spelling Show. The Jets won yesterday. They did. Congratulations. And that's why I'm here to tell you, go Dolphins. Go Dolphins. Go Dolphins. Go, go, go. He said they're going to lose in the next round. Who, the Jets or the Dolphins? The Jets. Dallas won too. Congratulations. 13 years without you, a playoff victory. You would not have picked the Jets yesterday, my friend. No, I would not have. I'm a Giants fan. I don't pick anyone but the Giants. We're getting word. Hold on. Yeah. Right. You got it, boss. 100 shows, people. Stay tuned for the next 100. Good job. Uncle Joe's Funny Show, you gave us, uh, you gave us 11 and a half months. Oh, we gave you 100 shows. Peace. Peace. You want to shut it down? You can shut it down. Shut it down.